Hello everyone, it's uh, Northern Adventure here again and uh, what I've got to show you today is uh, a machine that I built in 1999 and uh, what it is is a, a horizontal milling machine a small tabletop version built out of scraps that I was able to scrounge at the time um, this machine was featured in an article in the Machinist Workshop magazine in the um, February-March issue of 2002 on page 28 and uh, I dubbed it the engine mill because uh, basically the uh, the main frame of it was is an old four-cylinder engine block now uh, due to family circumstances, it's been many years since I used it. Actually, this machine's been in storage for about 15 years. And uh, I've got uh, in a situation again now where I can do some more work and uh, get back to my hobbies. So I took it out of mothballs and I used it for the first time uh, last week. Anyway, I'd like to give you an overview of what the machine is all about. And uh, in the near future, I'm going to be um, doing some projects uh, and using this machine. And I'll post uh, short video clips of uh, how versatile a machine like this can be. First of all, I started with an engine block, a four-cylinder engine block. And uh, I made a, a, a spindle to go in, in the, one of the end cylinders. Uh, the spindle, I turned it out so that it accepts um, C5 collets. And uh, right now there's an end mill in there because of the job I was doing required me to, uh, to use that. But uh, I also have the tooling for uh, milling cutters and this is the overarm support uh, when you um, uh, put your milling cutter shaft in here. It's just a, a connecting rod that I use for an overarm support. The uh, milling table itself is just a, a Chinese-made uh, small cross-slide table that came from uh, Busy Bee Tools in Canada. And uh, for my vertical movement, I've got uh, a part off of an old shaper. This is a clapper compound off of a large uh, shaping machine. Uh, put a stand on it, it's got an old washing machine motor on it and uh, that's really all there is to it. It's surprising how versatile a machine like this can be. Uh, I've made gears with it, I've made uh, special taps with it. Uh, the job I just finished was uh, uh, part of the uh, work that needed to be done on the aluminum stock for my um, uh, folding uh, survival rifle and uh, I'm actually quite excited about using it again. So like I say in the near future I'm going to uh, be doing some other gunsmithing projects that uh, I'm going to need this machine for and uh, I'll post short videos as uh, time permits uh, when I get to work on these projects and you'll get to see the thing in operation. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.